Hello there and a very good evening. My name's Sean Ryan. You are, of course, watching the Planet Cruise TV show. This is a show that's been running all over 10 years now. I've been very lucky I've presented it for, for those 10 years. Been on many cruises uh, and about to book another one. So uh, sit back, relax, because we've got a brilliant guest. He's back, Justin. Nice hey, to see you. Yeah, yeah, I'm great, mate. And, and, and you think that he's joking I'm not about joking. booking another one because halfway through the prep for this evening's show, he's going, oh, that sounds good. I think I'll have to book that. Well, that's next year. The, the little mini one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Which, no, well, which more will be I've, revealed later. I've got my hand a couple, actually. Um, <laughs> now, um, we've got... We'll, we'll give you... A little bit of a heads up. We've got a really good mix tonight, haven't we? That's f phenomenal. One of the best celebrity deals that I've ever seen that we're going to be yeah, kicking off ever. with. Uh, Celestial Cruises. If you've ever wanted to do the Greek islands, then this is the best company to and, do it with. And Andy's going to be here tonight. And actually, last time when Andy was on the sofa, it was a top-selling deal, wasn't it? Yeah, so massively. It is amazing. Massively. Everything's included. Yeah. Uh, we, we've also got pound deposits on selected items, but right in the middle of the show, we have got a once in a lifetime. If you ever wanted to go to uh, Vietnam, Japan, and wanted to do the Great Wall of China, all of those are including a 26 night odyssey. Um, and we're not, it doesn't stop there. We've also got a fantastic, I was going to say a river cruise, it's not even a river cruise, a motor yacht. Would you like to charter your own motor yacht and go off the Adriatic? Because that's effectively yeah. what we've got. Something really, really unique a little bit later on. And well, we've got our six-star luxury oh. with Regent as I well. I keep looking at this. I've always wanted to cruise with Regent Seven Seas. We have got a penthouse deal. I was just going to say, that's why you want to go on it. Oh, it's because it's got a penthouse. And, but the price is really good. And it's got business flights as well. Yeah, to be fair. To be yeah. fair. And all of the tours as well. It's, I, there's, there's, there's lots there's, in tonight's show. I'm, I'm 50 this year and I've got a list of things that I want to do. And uh, Regent Seven Seas penthouse, that's on the list now. Um, so we've got a brilliant show, and as Justin just mentioned, one pound deposits as well. Um, now we'd also like to invite each and every one of you to our luxury uh, cruise show, luxury cruise and river show. Now the best way of actually um, booking this is actually on the Planet Cruise website, isn't it? It's on the yeah. homepage. Yeah, if you go to planetcruise.com, then uh, you can just see uh, just down. Um, there's a little little, uh, little hut. It says it's easy to keep in touch, and uh, just click on that and you can keep up to date with all of the information about our shows uh, on Planet Cruise. So do do that, just go on, you'll see there's a little box there and you can find out all the information you need on the up and coming events. We'll show that again a little bit later on. But we'd better crack on because we've got we've lots got a lot to, get to get through, through haven't we? Yes. Yeah. Well, I, I, I personally think this is probably one of the best celebrity deals that I've ever seen. Absolutely. Because, and, and that's why we're kicking off with it tonight. Uh, do you want unlimited drinks? Do you want Wi-Fi included? Do you want exclusive, you're not going to get this with any other tour operator, exclusive to Planet Cruise, $200 on board my, spend. My, my ears are picking up here. <laughs> free parking or half price gratuities and a free upgrade from an ocean view to, to a, a balcony. balcony. So what we're going to say, although we've got the inside at 889, our advice is, and you'll see the prices later, go for the ocean view, then you get the balcony, then you get all these extras that Justin just mentioned. Honestly, yeah. it would be silly to go for the inside on this one. And but you can book this from as little as £1 <sighs> per person. So that is, is crazy. The so deposit even, tonight, you can secure it, yeah. get it booked up. So even if the credit card's a bit full at the moment, <laughs> you only need a pound for you and a pound for your partner, and you're ready to go. Um, so, as Justin mentioned, one of the most amazing deals, but it's your chance of actually visiting the beautiful fjord. So let's just talk you through. We're cruising out of Southampton on the beautiful silhouette, and here she is. Yeah, and of course, the actual ship itself, yes, it's one of the celebrity ships that's got the beautiful lawn on top. Uh, one of my recommendations definitely would be to get one of the cabanas, uh, because Ooh, you yeah. can uh, you have to book it, but you can get the cabana, you can have a picnic up there with bottles of Evian water, um, and uh, you've got an iPod docking station up there. I mean, the ships are fantastic. You've got all of the award-winning um, uh, spas on board as well. Um, also, yeah, you've the, fantas Garden. the fantastic restaurants as well, Aqua Spa Cafe as well, uh, cuisine, uh, a great wine collection, and entertainment-wise, I mean, just imagine walking into a venue like this. Well, as many of you know, I've, I've been on eight celebrity cruises now. I think it's eight, might even He's be nine. Lost count. Uh, no, that's awful, isn't it? That, uh, they are amazing. Five-star modern luxuries, just to mention, multi-award winning. 
Um, every aspect of celebrity is impeccable. I mean, from the food, the service, the designs of the ship, the choices, the entertainment, the best shows at sea, in my opinion. They spend a fortune on them and they, they're constantly reinventing them. They're, they always say, you know, we often say comparable to West End. I think they're better than some of the West End shows I've seen. I yeah. really mean that. Yeah, yeah, and in fact, yeah, you know, you, you will see faces on board, uh, whether that's the cabaret artists or indeed the, the performers in the uh, theatre show that will end up in the West End. So, uh, uh, you just saw the adults only area there as well, lovely. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> <laughs> he absolutely loves it. But one of the great things I love about this cruise is it's a sail out of Southampton. So yes. for those of you that don't like to fly or can't fly, then you can make your way down. Of course, don't forget there's always an opportunity to stay over the night before as well. If you are travelling from a little bit further afield from the south of England, then ask your Planet Cruise expert about the options to stay locally. We've got some great deals. But from Southampton, you've got a relaxing day at sea to familiarise yourself with the ship and then straight into Bergen. One of my favourite ports. This is usually on the end of the cruise. But this is the beginning oh, of the cruise. Actually, yeah, yeah, yeah. You've got the vernacular railway that goes up into the mountains. You can go for a wander up there. The actual town itself, there's a lovely harbour with these gorgeous buildings. And there's a good fish market there every week. So uh, Bergen in itself is probably a really good way to introduce yourself into Norway. Uh, then we're off to Olesund. Now, this is quite a unique place in Norway because a lot of the buildings are very, very modern. There was a, a fire here at the turn of the century that destroyed a lot of the buildings, hence why you've got a lot of Art Nouveau um, uh, and a lot of interesting architecture that you've got there. Um, the Felstua is a, a good region to walk up into. There's about 400 steps. Uh, even if you get about halfway up, there's good views, but you can go the full 400. And uh, also there's, there's some great bird um, colonies there as well. So if you love your ornithology, then uh, you can go for some tours there. Then we're off to Garanga. Now, Garanga usually spends just cruising, but you're actually going to be going in, and you can see why you cruise it. When you cruise into Garanga Fjord, it's a very small village and a very small town, but some gorgeous waterfalls. I mean, you've got the Seven Sisters, which is one of the most famous. You've also got the Suter Waterfalls, the Bridal Vale. Usually the captain or one of the tour operators will, like, the, will actually give you a, a little bit of running commentary, but absolutely stunning. Then we're off to Stavanger. Now, Stavanger is one of the places you want to go off and see one of the great greatest photographed um, points of Norway. It's called the Pulpit Rock. And um, if you, you, there you go, well, it's, it's something similar to that one. It's, it's actually a, a rock hanging in between two rocks, I believe. And uh, absolutely stunning. So go, definitely go off and do that. You've got a nice relaxing day at sea before you come back into Southampton. And that rounds off seven nights in modern luxury with everything that you can wave a stick at. I mean, to go through what you've got there is just amazing. And I've got to have, I've been very lucky. I've visited the fields twice and, you know, those images were great, but in real life, they are spectacular. They really, I, I advise everyone to do it. Now, we mentioned if you upgrade on this one, there is an awful lot of extras that are included. So let's just talk you through these. Um, if you go for an ocean view or above, you're going to get free unlimited drinks. The drinks packages are amazing with Celebrity and you get Wi-Fi for the whole family. Um, Planet Cruise, now this is exclusive to Planet Cruise tonight. $200 on board spend per stateroom, again, when you book an ocean view above. So that is exclusive to us tonight. Free parking or half price gratuities, again, when you book an ocean view above. And actually, if you book an ocean view, we're going to give you a balcony tonight as well. And an exclusive deposits starting from only a pound. So I cannot emphasize enough. There's no point going for the inside when you get all of these extras for the ocean view, which upgrades you to a balcony. So if you look, say, for the lead date there, 27th of April, for an extra £300, you're going to get all of those extras. The balcony, the drinks, the Wi-Fi, the um, parking or the half-price gratuities, the $200. So it's a brilliant upgrade that we are offering tonight. And great prices on Concierge, Aqua, and even the Sky Suites as well. Now, I do know the drinks package very well, as, uh, as many of you know. Um, but it's not all about the alcohol. No, it's not, Justin. Uh, it's about things like your specialty coffees that you can start the morning with. Gorgeous cappuccinos, lattes, um, all of your juices, your bottled water to take on shore with you. Uh, all of your selected beers, big choice of spirits and wines and cocktails. So that gives you a little overview of the drinks package. You will get that if you go for the ocean view or above there as well. But... 
We, uh, we mentioned we have got a fantastic offer to cruise on the Greek islands. He's had a terrible journey, but he made it. <laughs> Andy, nice to see you. Hello, how are you? It's honest to see you again. He, he needs yes. a cruise, he's had a journey <laughs> from the house. Hang on, he's only been on just two weeks ago, been on board a, uh, yeah, on the I ship. Confess. I confess. I thought you looked very well, actually, Thank yes. You, I do look very well, yes. Exactly. Now, last time you were here on the yep. sofa, your cruises with Celestial were actually the top sellers. Um, oh, uh, we nice. actually, I don't remember, there were queues on the phone lines and everything. Yep. You've brought us back pretty much the same deal, haven't you, tonight? Yeah, 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 same, same, sh same ship, same itinerary. It's the one that I was on. Did I mention I was on a cruise? Uh, a you did. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, now, everything, this is what is amazing, everything is included with yeah, the cruise, isn't it? it? Is. Everything. We call it all-inclusive, um, and um, having been on board and seen how it works, actually, it's just lovely. Um, and it's, as you just said, it's not just about the drinks. The drinks are very important. Gratuities, so no tipping. You don't need to tip anybody. Um, no port charges or anything that gets added, nothing hidden. And in, on this particular itinerary, this, this seven night itinerary, three excursions are included. Three well. excursions? Yes, three. Three of three them. Excursions. And they're free? Yeah, they're in, all included in the price that you pay. Now, your company, you, you were really. Um, a lot of us, you know, as ladies and gents in the UK, we didn't really know about you because you really kept, kept yourselves exclusively to the Greek islands. That's right, that's right. Um, yes, but yeah. you've branched out now. We have. Yeah. And I know you're winning many awards. You were looking at some of these. You well, get some great awards. Aren't you, you? Yeah. Mentioned, you mentioned around tours. Uh, you actually got first place in categories for, for best tour excursions, uh, gold award for travel experience, right. gold award for sailing, um, gold award for corporate identity and corporate branding. And all of those, <laughs> yeah, all of those awards. Wow. And again, you know, t just touching on the, the free excursions, that, you know, these are the ones that you want to go on. Well, that's a very good point, if I may, because a lot of people say, well, if they're the included excursions, they must be kind of, you know, just a walk around the harbour or something. And they're really, they're really not, they're, they're, actually. They're probably mm. the proper they? great excursions. I mean, yeah. don't have to take them if you don't want to, although I advise that you do, mm. because it's a great way just to experience and immerse yourself in the whole Greek experience. And the ships are smaller, more intimate ships, yes, presumably. Yes, exactly. Yeah. I mean, this ship, the, the, the Crystal, she's only around 900,000 passengers. So that, I mean, in, in modern terms, that's quite a small ship. And, and we're just having a little look at her right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, she, I mean, what that allows, of course, is a great service on board as well. And, and that goes very, very well with the inclusive um, nature of what we deliver on board as well. One awards for our staff as well, actually. The staff well, are I would, just great. I, I know it's one of those sort of known in the industry that you actually supply some of the other top cruise lines we do. with what their do staff. Do? We couldn't possibly comment on who. <laughs> it doesn't, doesn't matter. But they can win their, their awards on our behalf if they like. But no, I mean, seriously, I mean, it's something we're very good at. And all cruise lines, all cruise lines have great service and great staff. It's what they're all about. But with only a thousand passengers and an inclusive thing, it's not just about Mm. free drinks but it allows them to give that great um, yeah. intimate and, and I was going to say the Greek islands I mean they are amazing I haven't heard anyone ever say that they didn't think the Greek islands were beautiful and spectacular but if you are going to cruise around them then surely it makes sense to cruise with Celestial well I think so clearly but I mean it actually yeah we we know what we're doing you know we, we we're a Greek we're a Greek uh, cruise line we specialize in the Greek islands and that allows us just to do things that um, other cruise lines well, can't do. Well, Justin picked up early because we get an overnight in Mykonos and Santorini. You right. picked yeah. up early about this, didn't you? Well, I, again, I think this is why you go with a Greek cruise line when you're doing the Greek islands because they are connected and have great relationships with that. You're the only cruise line, I believe, yes. um, that can stay in overnight yes. in, in Santorini. Yes. Which, yes. Wow. I, mean, that's, that's the place, I don't think it? you can actually book just like a night or two nights in Santorini. No, I, be I believe the minimum that the Santorini tourist people allow is three nights now so you get two full days and, and an overnight in Mykonos as well. Yeah, which, which we, were we were chatting about we Mykonos were, earlier. We were. You, can, you, you went you there for our little meeting earlier, but this is, it was your cruise that I was looking at going, I really fancy that one. Yeah, yeah. Really? Yeah, no, see, well, of course. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I mean, I've done a couple of the Greek yeah, islands, but yeah. there's many yeah. that I haven't. I mean, anyway, we are we, waiting for our invite on board, <laughs> just, just, just <laughs> to point that out. Invite me back another time and we can talk about that, but uh, you would be very welcome. Well, let's, uh, <laughs> let's just uh, talk through the amazing itinerary. So, and now, a lot of the cruises tonight are based on London flights, but we can always, generally speaking, find you regional flights as well, so don't worry about that. So, so straight away, uh, we're going from Athens into Mykonos, we were just touching on this earlier on. Mykonos is one of those hidden gems, you know, um, you know, back in the day, I mean, you sort of remember the sort of Shirley Valentine stories of, of going over there in, in, in holidays. 
It is, again, beautifully quaint. You've got the little tavernas, but there's a wonderful nightlife. And just sort of early evening, everything starts to come alive. Uh, um, Andy was saying that you know, a lot of people stay on the ship and then have a wander ashore and, and sort of taste some of the nightlife, then come back because you're actually right. not right. moored, you're actually tied up alongside. Well, if, yeah, if I could just add to that, having um, been lucky enough to have been on board a couple of weeks ago and we did the overnight in Mykonos, it was just a lovely way to do it because there was no urgency about anything anybody wanted to do. And as you say, people tended to go off for a wander, they may have done an additional excursion that you can buy of course, apart from the ones that are included on the, in the other ports, and you just kind of went ashore, experienced nightlife, came back on the ship, the bars were still open, you went to bed, you get up in the morning, you're still in Mykonos. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Now this is our next port, isn't it? Yeah, after, after Minos, and this is actually known as the Island of Colours, and you can see why the beautiful um, white cliffs there and the blue oceans, uh, and again, a lot of history. This is actually where the Venus de Milo actually came from, so one of the centrepieces at the Louvre in Paris. But then we're into the feature port. This is definitely one of the reasons why I'd want to go, and that's Santorini. Of course, this is famed to have uh, been Atlantis. You're actually on the rim of a, uh, a volcanic um, uh, crater. And it's just blue ceilings and, and the whitewash walls. It is just the absolute antipathy of, of what Greece beautiful. is all it about. Is, it is stunning and overnight of course so you can do an excursion during the day which doesn't eat into your you know your own personal space and time on Santorini and of course you can have your dinner go ashore again have your gin and tonic in Santorini watch the sun go and down. All the other cruises <laughs> you visit Santorini <laughs> and you're leaving so quickly and think oh, I wish I could stay you will be staying overnight. Uh, it's one of the best things, isn't it? it? Is. Sitting there where the sun it sets. Yeah, you don't want to be sitting there where the sun sets and the, the, set, the, the ship is sailing away. No, it's exactly. going to be alongside. No, actually, you can thing. watch the other cruise ships that are there sailing <laughs> yeah, away. Yeah, yeah, that's actually true. what you can do. It's cruise great. ship envy. It is, um, yeah. Then we're off to Heraklion. Now, it's just going across to Crete here. And this, this is, again, this is where you feature one of the free included tours. Absolutely, we do. Uh, I mean, there's, there's so much to do here. One of the things that I definitely want to do, either the Knossos Temple, but also Spinalonga Island as well. It's an absolute stunning gem. And uh, there's also some good uh, shopping here as well to pick up some local uh, artifacts and uh, handicrafts. I so definitely want. Then we're off to Kusadasi and uh, Ephesus. Now, again, when it uh -huh. comes to history, this is this is one of the tours that you did. Wasn't this it? this is one of the ones I did, and I have to say it is spectacular. It's Turkey, of course. I mean, clearly, and so we stick a Turkish port in as well. But we do this for Ephesus. We arrive in Kusadasi, and the great thing about this excursion is we arrive early in the morning. Um, so it is an early start, but the beauty of that is it's not hot and Ephesus isn't busy um, and you get to see the, uh, the, the, the beautiful, um, you know, where Anthony and Cleopatra walked and wow. it's spectacular. And you're back to the ship by early afternoon yeah. and uh, having done this great tour. You see, this is the thing. Sometimes when you're on some of the big cruise lines, they, have a, they can't disembark that quickly. So they yes. get there when it's absolutely boiling hot mm -hmm. and that ruins the experience. And but again, this is why you, you go with a Greek cruise line because you know exactly what you're doing. Exactly. And, and, uh, we just mentioned that you will then, of course, um, disembark in Athens, but we can add on, if you want an extra stay in Athens, uh, pre or post cruise, we can actually arrange that for you, um, you know, just to extend your stay a little bit longer. You should also point out as well, the lead date is the 14th of October. You generally still get fantastic weather at that time of year, don't you? That's a, that's a great point to make, actually. I mean, we, 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 you know, we're having great weather here, of course, at the moment, but I mean, it's a great time to go because it's not excruciatingly hot and it's quite calm and you know temperatures of 24, 25 yeah, degrees, perfect. which is perfect. Um, now we better quickly remind you of what's included because it is an awful lot. Uh, we are looking at all inclusive, that means tips and exclusive discounts, free shore excursions, three of those, and they're going to be amazing. I mean, really, really great excursions. They'd cost you an awful lot with other cruise companies. Return flights based on London, never worry about that because, generally speaking, we can always find you alternative flights close to your local airport. And as I just mentioned, you can add on a pre or post hotel stay in Athens as well. Right, prices. This last time we featured this, the phone lines were ringing, 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 seriously. So you do need to book as soon as you can. And uh, say so prices, they're starting at just under £1,100, which is amazing. I did notice as well, Andy, the single mm -hmm. price is really good. Yeah, we are, we're, big, we're big on singles. We're, we're happy to go with singles. We have family cabins as well. We have three, four berth cabins, right. which is worth mentioning. I just think it's great price value. Amazing. It's, it's great value. Uh, now, I, of course, we do need to move on to the drinks package. We do. <laughs> and this is, again, a really nice selection of spirits, beers, cocktails. Oh, 
And Uzo cocktails as well. Uzo, Uzo cocktails, of course, yes. But brand, branded, it's important to mention. So they well. are branded? It's branded. It's not kind of, um, you know, cheap stuff. It's it's what you would expect. And, it's really uh, good, isn't it? It is. Yeah, it really is. Um, and also all of your hot beverages as well. And these are the excursions, yeah, Justin, are. as well, that we're talking about. Yeah, yeah. And, and these are all included. So Santorini, you've got your tour included. Great. And Kuzadasi, all the places that you want that tour, you don't have to worry about the extra expense. Um, Andy, can I say thank you so much? You it can. took you four and a half hours to get here, <laughs> but it was well worth it. Yeah, that's uh, longer than a flight to Athens, actually. <laughs> <laughs> actually listen, it's a pleasure, always a pleasure. Brilliant art company, fantastic offer, and I know we're going to be really busy for that one. Thank and you it so is much. on my list, I promise you. It really is, and Justin's as yeah, well. Definitely. Um, but we'd better, we, we get in touch with that. We're about three minutes behind now. Oh, but we have got a biggie for you right now. This is the ultimate. It's with the uh, Royal Caribbean. It's on the spectrum of the seas. <gasps> One of their latest ships, and it's the ultimate. You're going to be away for 25 nights, and this really is a trip of a lifetime. You're going to get to see and do so much. But we start off flying from London to Singapore. And just looking, you've got two nights and a five-star hotel. Um, this is just the start, Justin, yeah. because we've got, including this one, we're coming up, we've got a river cruise, we've got the main cruise across the Royal Caribbean, we've got land stays, we're going to get to see the uh, wonderful Terracotta Warriors, but we start off in Singapore. I actually love this place. It's one of my favourite places. The service here, I'm telling you now, is un. Believable, and the fact that you've actually got a good couple of days to acclimatise you, go and see the Merlion, you can go and see Marina Bay Sands, go to Raffles, go and do the shopping, go to the gardens by the bay, maybe the nighttime zoo tour as yeah, well. Yeah, that's, that's really uh, good. That's definitely one. So there's, there's lots to see and do there, but then you're transferring on board this ship, and no. this is just an absolute. This is what they call a wow ship. This is this is going now to what they call quantum ultra class. So you've got your wave rider, but you've got your indoor skydiving, your, your trampoline, and you've got all of these facilities on board. And it is quite literally and she hasn't next. Even, she hasn't even launched yet, has she? No, she, she's actually launching. She's doing a repositioning cruise from we, we featured it last yeah, week we did from the now. Mediterranean over to um, uh, over to Shanghai, and then this is going to be one of the first cruises wow. that she's going to be doing in this in this territory. So bear that in mind, and uh, you're going to be aboard for nine nights. Um, your first days at sea, I mean, God, just be doing a wreck of the ship, exploring it. But we're making our way over to Ho Chi Minh, aren't we? Yeah, otherwise known as Saigon. So certainly you'll, you'll love this. And we're into Vietnam. This is just a wonderful place. The Notre Dame Cathedral, uh, Dong Khoi Street as well, if you want to go do a little bit of shopping and, and taste some of the local delicacies. Uh, and also the Mekong Delta as well. Then we're off to Nha Trang. Now, there's, again, loads of great markets here. But there's also the Pong Nga Cham Towers. And there's also a river cruise that I can highly recommend uh, just for the day. But um, if you just want to chill out, to be fair, there's so much that you're going to be doing in this cruise. I'll just take a few days just to, uh, to charge the batteries because you're going to need it. There's some big stuff coming up. Then you've got relaxing day at sea and we're into one of the highlights. We're into Hong Kong and this is an overnight on board. Just imagine the skyline, perhaps going out on one of the junker boats and seeing the light show that they have um, uh, every night, I believe, it's something around uh, 8 o'clock, that's Victoria, uh, Victoria Falls Peak as well. Um, there's plenty to see and do in Hong Kong. But then you go from uh, Hong Kong to Shanghai. And you've got two days at sea, haven't you? Yes, say? yeah, two days at sea and then into Shanghai. And this is where you disembark and you go for a, uh, a four-star hotel for two nights. And uh, the great thing is, you know, the, all, all of the food here, this is dinner included as well, but it's what you get to do in the day. You get to see the Bund, you get to see the Yew Gardens, and also a river cruise is all included in this particular deal. And, so, And obviously, we, we know, with it being planned, because every single aspect of this is organised, is planned. Yeah. And yeah. It's the ultimate, this one, isn't so, it? So, you know, you get a chance to explore the, the Yew Gardens, the... Um, the alleyways of the town as well, the silk production, some of the museums, uh, and then finally in the evening um, uh, you get to, uh, uh, to see a panoramic cruise on the Huangpu River, um, which is, uh, and that you get traditional uh, Shanghaiese 
easy for me to say, uh, cuisine. So all of that is included um, uh, in your stay in Shanghai. Then our next day, you're actually transferring to an airport and flying to Wuhan. And this is where you embark a river vessel um, for a four-night Yangtze River cruise. Now, this is just, just absolutely awesome. And, you know, five-star, uh, you know, a river cruise ship, as you saw there, some of the great uh, locks that you'll be traversing as well, and some of the, um, some of the canals. Of course, you're going to be getting a chance to visit the Three Gorges Dam as well, which we've featured on the, uh, the show many times. And you get to see the hydroelectric uh, hydroelectricity plant there as well. So, but, I mean, um, think about what you've experienced so far, and yet you've still got another 10 days because mm. we're transferring to uh, a wonderful hotel in yes, yes. Chengdu, so, aren't we? Chengdu for a one night stay and this is a four star hotel. Now this is just a, a, a lovely way to get yourself ready for one of probably oh. a lifetime experience. Yep, included you get a Panda Conservation Centre tour and you get to travel on the bullet train. We'll touch on that in a, a couple of uh, seconds I've gone all, later. I've got all gooey looking at this picture. <laughs> I mean, it's just great. Oh. And, and you get a chance to see their breeding program and how they're trying to, uh, you know, again, forward the, uh, the gene pool and, and ensure the, the future of uh, this great species. Um, but you also get a chance as well to, uh, to go to an embroidery museum. And then later on in the day, you take the bullet train to Xi'an, which is China's ancient capital. Now, Xi'an is the home of one of the greatest uh, tick lists. For, for those of you that love history and love travel, then you're going to go and get a chance to see the Terracotta Warriors. Wow. And again, this is included in the All price. of this is included. Um, you will be staying at a, a, in a four-star hotel for two nights, of course, uh, to experience all of this. Yeah. I mean... I would love to do this. Again, we all have our wish list and our bucket list. This is on mine. Well, it was discovered back in the 70s, and they're just discovering more There's and more. There's more, 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 yeah. And then you visit some of the workshops where the craftsmen are, are preserving and uh, indeed repairing some of the uh, the terracotta warriors, who were all completely different. It wasn't just like a mold that no, they just no. kept on doing. They were all based just... supposedly on on real people. That's amazing, um, isn't it? Which is uh, just great. And later on in the day, you get a chance to actually stroll around the beautifully preserved uh, 14th century. Uh, si uh, city walls that enclose the actual old town itself as well. Then you're going to be transferring after your stay in, and seeing the great terracotta warriors to Beijing and this is for a three night stay in a four star hotel and again there's so much included so in the morning you get a chance to visit uh, the Little Wild Goose Pagoda and this is just a great walk through the atmospheric alleys of different quarters, different cultures, the Muslim quarter, so you get great Islamic food, and then later on flying to Beijing and China's capital city. Now again, breakfast, lunch, dinner, all included on that day. Now, when, when, during your stay, um, you're going to get a chance to go to the Forbidden City in Tiananmen Square, uh, the Temple of Heaven as well, um, and there's also an acrobatic show included as well. So again, another day where breakfast, lunch and dinner is all included. Then the, the crescendo, the, the pinnacle is the Great Wall Tour. And this is the, I know this is your 24th day away, by the way. I just have I to mean, point it's this a, out. It's a month immersing yourself in some of the greatest culture and some of the most historic culture um, of, of time. And yeah, you get a chance to see the Great Wall, you get a chance to see the Jade Museum as well, the Summer Palace, the Chinese Gardens, and you also get to try one of the most important things one of the best delicacies ever, Peking duck. And again, breakfast, lunch and dinner, all included. I actually think that's one of the most wonderful trips that we've ever had in the last 10 years. Do, do I mean. you know, as well, even though we've spent quite a lot of time here, we haven't done it justice. And if you're th can even considering booking this as a bucket list cruise, you need to pick up the phone and speak to one of our Planet Cruise experts who will take you through all of that information again. Well, it's just a very quick recap. It's uh, a once-in-a-lifetime 12-night China tour, which is included. You're going to get to the Terracotta Warriors, uh, the Great Wall, uh, Tiananmen Square there, the Panda Conservation Center. You've got the River Cruise. Uh, all meals included on the tour. You've got your hotel stays in Singapore, Shanghai, uh, Chengdu there, Shan, Beijing. A nine-night... Beijing. Uh, Beijing. What did I just say? Beijing. Beijing. I thought you were saying Beijing. Beijing. 
I'm impressed. I'm impressed you, but you've been doing your pronunciations on these ports. Oh, oh I don't know. Um, but a nine-night cruise on board uh, Royal Caribbean's newest ship, the Spectrum of the Seas. That what is a ship as well? I know, I mean... She's absolutely stunning. We haven't had a chance really to go through all of the facilities on board her. It doesn't do it justice. But as, as Justin said, give us a call right now. We can talk you through in more detail. 0808 250 2662. Um, now, there's still more cruises to come, but we are going to go live to Planet Cruise HQ, aren't we? Yeah, we certainly are. And we are going to speak to Rob Brennan. We haven't spoken to him for a while, actually. Rob, are you there? I am. How are you guys? Very we're well. great, yeah, thank very well. you. Oh, we've even got a picture of you, Rob. There you go. Um, <laughs> yeah, well, we've just been past uh, a bit of a gem, actually, for people who are maybe looking at doing something uh, for September of next year. Now, we've got a three-night mini-cruise with MSC, and we're on the MSC Meraviglia. Now, we've got the three nights on this flying out to Kiel, going through Copenhagen and cruising back into Southampton from 299 per person. But this is where the magic happens. We've actually got inside to balcony for the same price. Free upgrade from inside to balcony for 299 per person, 21st of September next year. Same price for singles. No. Yeah. So 299 so, for singles as well? 299 for a single, 299 for an inside, for a balcony. So I assume that we're going to get a lot of inquiries about the balconies this evening. Wow. But yeah, as I say, <laughs> fly out to Kiel and cruise back into Southampton via the beautiful city of Copenhagen. Copenhagen is absolutely beautiful. You just think what your flights would cost. And you see in one of the best ships as well in the fleet. And the flights have included, Rob, as well, yeah? They are flights, transfers to the ship, and then obviously the cruise back into the UK, 299 for the 21st of September, that's next year. I would, I'd like to know, because I've, I've not cruised with MSC yet, so I would love to get your phone. Yeah, go on, because just... the balcony, so it's 299 for balcony, wow. 299 for a balcony, that's correct, yeah. And what was it, let me just make a note of this, Rob, what's the date? <laughs> Rob, it's just the 21st sticking down September for, for next year, yeah. 21st of September, like, I'm just going to put, seriously, I'm going to put it in now. I kid you not, he's in his calendar. I am. He's not allowed, he's, he should be doing that in the studio. <laughs> no, if I, if, if I don't do it now, I never will. Right, they, they won't turn off, I've got that in, seriously. Thank, you, thank you very much, Rob, Rob by the way, not for not giving a problem. that See you later, guys. deal to... Bye. Uh, thank you, Rob. Wow. I've actually popped it in. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, the single cabins, we uh, just 2 99 on that as well for three-night cruises. Do you want to get the floor manager to put your holiday form in? Hey, hey dearie me. I'm, I'm just going to book it and hope, hope it's OK. <laughs> anyway, we'd we better move on. Seriously, yes. that was good, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, our next deal Well, is... staying with MSC. Yes. Yeah. And this, this, is a, this is an absolute classic tour around the Mediterranean, but it features something that is close to my heart. And if you... Well, this weekend, another classic race over in Hungary. If you love Formula One, yeah. this is and your chance. You're, and you're a massive fan, aren't you? Massive fan. This is your chance to go to one of the greatest circuits on the face of the planet. I'm talking none other than the jewel in the crown, Monaco. Or if, if you're into Formula One, it's Monaco. <laughs> it's Monaco. Monaco. Sterling Moss, he definitely pronounced it Monaco. He wouldn't okay. say Monaco. Transfer um, Monaco. But then. Great, great ship. You're actually on board the MSC Divina. And um, when you, you're actually flying out to Marseille. And um, the actual ship itself, you know, fantastic facilities, including a Formula One simulator. Oh! So, uh, and it's not just perfect. for this cruise, it's actually for, uh, it's, it's, it's on there all the time. But great outside deck space, you've got the uh, retractable roof over the pool as well, so even if the weather's not great. 4D cinema, and here comes the F1 simulator. There you go, I can't quite tell what chassis that is, but there we go. Lovely gelato house there, and plenty of onboard shopping. But for me, I, I just, I, I love MSC, I love the whole Mediterranean feel. Because, you know, if you do, do love that sort of Mediterranean lifestyle and food, there's something there for everybody. Pizza is as well, um, if you just want to have some quick and, and fast food. And what I want to see, uh, and I have, I have yet to go as an embassy, hoping to do it next year, the, the ships look so yeah. opulent and decadent and beautiful. They've, they've gone to another level, though. They've introduced something called the MSC Yacht Club, oh, which yes. is an exclusive area uh, where you have key card access. So, you know, only people that will book it uh, will get this access. And this takes it to another level. 24-hour butler and concierge service, exclusive restaurants and opening uh, uh, and dining as well. There's an exclusive deck area on top of that and bespoke shore excursions as well. So, I mean, that's just scratching the surface of the ship, but do you want to know where you go? Well, we, uh, we, we're flying, as I said, from London to Marseille. You've yep. uh, transferred to port, you're on this beautiful ship, and... Yeah, onto Genoa. I mean, th this is just a, a fantastic port itself. Um, you've got the Cathedral of San Lorenzo, that if you want to go and see something historic. Uh, also, go to Portofino. 
it's not it's just a, a stone throw away um, that would be what I would do because it does tie in with the sort of jet set lifestyle of the south of France and Monaco, the yachts, the cars, oh, just fantastic. Um, then you're actually into Rome or the port of Civitavecchia. We're going to feature that a little bit later on in the show, so we'll come back to Rome a little bit later on. But now we're off to Sicily. We're actually off to Palermo. And Palermo, just absolutely stunning. Really Again, beautiful, yeah. You've got Greek influence, Roman history, uh, Arabic history in there. It really is fantastic. And, of course, if you're a big film buff, you'll know that a lot of the scenes from The Godfather, in particular Godfather 2, was actually filmed in this area because this is the era of what they call the Cosa Nostra. Uh, which, uh, if you know what it is, then I don't have to. Uh, I don't have to explain it. Then we're off to Sardinia again, another one of my favourite places. Of course, famous for some of the James Bond films to be filmed there. Exactly. You like your films, don't you? Well, but yeah. I love, I love this part of the world, yeah. the Mediterranean. You've got the botanical garden. You've got the Castillo. You've got the Cathedral of Santa Maria as well. The Roman amphitheatre. Plenty to see and do. Then we're off to Parma. We're off to Mallorca. Um, Belver Castle. Definitely go there. The cathedral. Great shopping as well. And the caves of Drach as well. So, it's, um, um, it is a beautiful place actually. Yeah. Um, into Valencia, Valencia itself, rich history. If you love your, your porcelain then you'll, you'll love Valencia. Uh, and again it's very much the sort of old school Spain. I, I'd, I'd say definitely reserve that day for tapas. Find a restaurant, just have a stroll down one of the little back alleys and find a lovely little quiet little tapas restaurant. But then you're back into Marseille and this is where you're disembarking and where you're going to be transferring to a hotel. And the hotel's going to be in Nice. It's a three-night stay in a four-star hotel. Nice in itself is nice. Um, you've got the, uh, the actual uh, strip, the uh, I was, um, Promenade de Anglais, was actually where they held one of the first ever motor races. It was a standing quarter mile. And Nice itself has got a fantastic history, absolutely beautiful. But this is now where you get to experience the fuel, the petrol, the glamour, the glitz of Formula one and you'll actually get um, included with the price of the cruise you'll get a guided tour to the actual circuit itself uh, or guided transfer shall we say and then you'll also get so this is just a, this is um, some of the actual guides that went last year they took some of this uh, footage on the phone so you can see the yachts there this is actually coming through to back this is the final part of the circuit before you go down into where you will be viewing the Grand Prix from, which is um, on the hillside above Raskas. Now, Raskas is the old fisherman's uh, bar, which everybody knows is where all the party is. And you can see the pits, the pit entry. You can Ooh, see fab. the start finish straight as well. Um, so uh, there's uh, just a, a wonderful, wonderful experience. But on race day, there is the option as well for you to go for grandstand tickets. To catch as your grade, well. yeah? Yeah, so because, it, again, this gives you some sort of an idea of the grandstand. This is just opposite the pit complex, just coming down. This is just, believe it or not, that actual circuit is just party central at night. Wow. So it's just, you, you can't move down there, and then you come down into Raskas. But again, this shot that you can see there of uh, Sebastian Vettel and his Ferrari from that, well, yeah, last year, that would have been from the actual hillside that you get. It's just general admission tickets, but you can upgrade to the grandstands, and you see the grandstand there um, in the swimming pool complex opposite the pits. It's just a great option. So again, great option. just call for details, and our Planet Cruise experts will talk to you. I think this one's amazing, um, and again, just to, to remind you what's included, you're going to get to see all these wonderful places and ports, but you will get the, uh, the Grand Prix uh, tickets there, uh, or race day tickets. We are going to advise if you want to upgrade, you can do that, of upgrade, course. Upgrade, upgrade. If, you, if yeah. you're going to go to Monaco, if you're going to go to Monaco, Monaco you've got, no, <laughs> you've got to, you've got to be in a grandstand. Monaco, so come uh, to Monaco and talk uh, to men, what a waste of time. <laughs> now, the, um, the full star hotel, um, Stay in Nice is, of course, hosted, uh, and you've got escorted transfers to make it even easier. You can be there for three nights as well. Return flights, again, they are based on London, but Planet Cruise, they can, generally speaking, find you um, flights from airports all the way across the UK, so just ask for details. They can talk you through some pricing on those as well. God, we're just, I, I see we've got, uh, we really have got something for everybody tonight, and... Yeah. This next one's really unique, and, of course, don't forget, we've got is... a once-in-a-lifetime... Uh, trip with Regent, um, which is just uh, yeah. yeah. Penthouse suites coming up to finish the show. <laughs> yeah, penthouse. Yes. But how would you like to charter your own yacht? 
I've always loved the idea. Well, let's it's, do it's it. It's the kind of thing I'd like to do for a big birthday and things like that. Well, there's 36 capacity on this actual Is yacht. that only 36? 36. So Seven actually, officers and crew and 36 passengers So if on board. a group of you went, you could pretty much, you know, fill the yeah. ship, couldn't you? Yeah, but the, this is what I'm saying, because yeah. we, we always talk about the large cruise ships and the facilities, but sometimes when you've done that, you've done the river cruising, you've done all the different territories, like you've been over to the Caribbean, done the Mediterranean, you've done the Baltic, you, you just want something different. And this, with Saga, which is a brand that we all recognise and know, it's just a and great opportunity. Um, and we should say, by the way, there's single prices on this that are amazing. It's on the screen, they're starting at 1119. Yeah, but on top of that as well, you can book this for as little as a pound per person oh, as you well can, on can't deposits. You? Local, uh, uh, local wines, beers, and soft drinks. It sounds as if I've been on one. Um, <laughs> and lunch and dinner all the way throughout. And this is the Adriatic. I mean, you've done, you've done Dubrovnik, haven't you? Yeah, only, absolutely. Only, yeah, only once, but amazing. Yeah. But again, have you done it on a yacht? No, love to. Yeah, and this is the great. It's thing. really special. This one, so only thirty-six passengers. Yeah. Wow. I think this is just absolutely great. Well, let, let, let's actually take you on on the uh, the voyage and, and the itinerary itself, because you're flying from London out to Dubrovnik and transferring on board your own yacht. <laughs> it's, it's, it's just crazy. It's absolutely crazy. And your first port of call is Korkula Island. Now, this is where you're actually overnight. Um, during the morning, you're actually going past uh, some of the peninsulas that you see around there. And then you're in Korkula Berth overnight in the main town, uh, which is, of course, the birthplace of Marco Polo. Um, then our next day is Pushishka. And this is overnight on board. You're actually cruising north to, Maka uh, uh, to Makasa and then on to Pushishka and the island of Brat, which is famed for its stone and masonry. Uh, then on to Spit, um, which is just, again, uh, iconic. Uh, by the way, if you like um, a lot of water sports, Spit is really good for water sports here. We it's actually stated it. It's wonderful, yeah. Yeah, Croatia's largest, uh, largest city, second largest city, sorry. Um, and you've got some great history here. You've actually got Roman ruins, which go back to um, the Diocletian pa Palace. And there's a guided tour included in this particular port. So a guided walking tour. Then we're off to Havar Town. And this is, again, another overnight on board. And you're going to actually cruise across and out the Havar Channel between Brack and Salta, and then dock in Havar uh, in the town. And again, there's another walking tour included on that port day as well. Um, the next day, another overnight on board in Milgette. And this is where you get a chance to cruise down the coast towards Milgette. Um, there's a guided visit here, so you get a chance to see some of the fields, the vineyards, some of the small villages. And also the Western Park um, features uh, the um, uh, lipo pine and oak trees. So lovely forest there as well. Also two saltwater lakes to boot as well. So again, all of that and a guided visit there. Then, finest, the final day is in, back into Dubrovnik, and this is where you're overnight on board, and you're actually moored, I don't know, we saw a picture earlier on, and there's actually a harbour around the other side as you're coming round the walled city itself, and you, you're basically, there you go, you can see, you, you're going to be moored near enough within the actual city walls itself, so just, it's absolutely stunning. So, absolutely stunning. just to remind you, we are only looking at 36 passengers maximum. 36 mm. passengers so it's gonna be really intimate we were looking at, um, at some images earlier and it really looked fantastic you know really lovely intimate little um, restaurants um, I do like to talk about um, bars as you know and there is a bar yeah, on board. It's open from 11 a.m. in the morning to 10 p.m. at <laughs> yes. night. Yes, and that serves local alcoholic and non-alcoholic drinks. <laughs> so there is a bar open from 11 in the morning till 10 at night. I like that. The, th the thing is, the reason why they shut at 10 is obviously because it's a smaller ship. It's of a course. yacht. You don't want to be disturbing people. But I can tell you now, if you get a good group of people on there, and then you get the officers and the crew as well, it would be a great yeah. time. I actually love the idea. It's one of the things that I used to say when I was on board ship. I'd love to just jump ship and just go onto a, a tiny little yacht and just have a pair of shorts and a white shirt, a pair of flip-flops and nothing. Yeah. Just, just, just do nothing. And this is the great thing that you're docking so close into these ports, you're overnight, so you know, dine on board or go ashore and you, you're only um, stones throw away and the fact that you've got walking tours included as well. And, and I'm not being funny but there's, there's not going to be a big queue of people waiting to get off either at the ports, is there? No. 
You know, this, you know, there's only 36 passengers. But that's max, but that's max, that's max capacity. Yeah. Yeah. We've never had anything like this before, Just we? imagine, just imagine. Hey, you and me, we could book, we could take some of the boys here as well, the camera crew, you, you, up, you up for that? Yeah, the Adriatic, yeah. we could go, we might turn up, there might not be anybody else there. Imagine that. We might not come back. So you're in private party, isn't it? Oh, that's great. Um, brilliant, brilliant product. Of course, Saga as well, they can do a lot of um, insurances as well. So just make sure that when you phone and speak to our experts and our specialist at Planet Cruise, make sure you understand the whole package that's available to you. Um, and I did mention great single prices. Let's just talk you through this. So the lead date starts at just 919 for this. Um, it is a Planet Cruise exclusive, so we've got a deposit from just a pound per person tonight. Um, local wines, beers and soft drinks, uh, they're served with lunch and dinner throughout the, the cruise here. All of those guided tours, I mean, again, it's great to have those included. And um, that free bar that I talked about, yes, that is open from 11 in the morning. That's a bit early for me, actually, Justin. But it is open till 10 at night. Uh, so that is serving local alcoholic and non-alcoholic drinks. Um, and the single starts at 1-1-1 now, which is amazing. Again, we turn flights, they are based on London, but as I keep saying throughout the show, regional flights are generally available with Planet Cruise. Planet Cruise are experts at finding hotels, flights, and really giving you the package that's suitable for you. Price-wise, uh, well, we've got prices starting through the October dates, so the late ones there, 17, so they're already selling out, actually, some of those. But that's, uh, that's at 979, but the 4th of April starts at just 919, 929 for the 11th. And even in peak season there, we are yeah. talking about great, well, great and, value, and great single we? prices as well. Yeah, viewers, the only reason why you're saying it's too early is because if it's overnight on board, it'd still be coming ashore at 10 <laughs> o'clock in the morning. It'd be rolling up the gangway oh, and going, oh, let's go <laughs> on, let's, let's go straight back in. Anyway, how'd you do it? How do you look so young and youthful? And I go to bed at 12 o'clock like a good boy, and I look the way I... <laughs> no, you look good. It looks great, doesn't it? Anyway, let's move on, because yes. this next one... Should oh. we take a deep breath? Do you know, the, the moment this came through in our notes, we both got on the internet, started looking at what the actual penthouse suites look like. Yeah, but it's a rarity. For, for those of you that are not familiar with region, and certainly when you see the price there, you're like, there's something yeah. different about this. We don't get this deal very often. Yeah. I think we've because only featured region probably two or three times, yeah, haven't we? Th so, this is know. a brand that is not discounted because it is six-star luxury. And, I mean, the stuff that is included, as you would imagine, business class travel as well. So the flights are business class? Business class. You get all of the, um, the, the bells and whistles that you'd associate with business class travel as well. And bear in mind, yes, some, some of the, uh, I think the dates are based on London, but give the guys a call. When, when it, this sort of level, six star luxury, then you can, you know, where we can, we'll, we'll bespoke Actually, it for you. We've got flights, we've got London flights, but we have got Manchester, Manchester. Edinburgh, and G Glasgow. And Glasgow, that was it. With Glasgow. no extra supplement tonight as well. There you go. But it, um, the Penta Suite looks amazing, doesn't mm. it? Yeah. But it, it's the service that you've got on board, it's the square footage that you've got as well. I mean, it's, things like there's no charge for speciality restaurants there included, all your prepaid gratuities, 24-hour room service. But I bet you want to see, don't you? Well, let's, yeah. let, let's, yeah. let, let's uh, give you a taster of six-star luxury. For yeah. many, region are the very, very best. And well, within the industry yeah. as well, people always say, crack, if I was going to go on a cruise, that's the cruise that I go on. Ship, uh, so the actual ship itself, size-wise, is only 46,000 tonnes. So when you look at a maximum, maximum capacity of 708 passengers, and she's recently actually um, gone through a, a, quite a, an extensive refurbishment as well. So, you know, that elegance just is something else. Um, as you mentioned, you know, this is butler service in suite categories being above, your penthouse suite, so you get your butler service in there as well. Um, Dining-wise, there's the Compass Rose, which is an a la carte menu. There's Italian cuisine, there's Parisian cuisine. Uh, there's the Veranda, which is Mediterranean Bistro, uh, Paul Bar and Grill, and in-suite dining, in-suite. So we're not talking room service, we're actually talking uh, serving you in your suite at no extra charge I mean, as well. Um, did we mention, by the way, you also have 35 free 
shore excursions to choose from as well. Yeah, and the shore excursions are really good. It's not just your, your, your general tour excursions. Uh, cookery classes, wine tasting, cheese tasting. Um, you, you, you know, if, you, if there's certain ports like uh, Florence and Pisa and Rome that you do want to go to your tourist hotspots, then you can do. But quite literally, I mean... Oh, that is... That. <laughs> but wait, unlimited beverages, right? Open bars and lounges, plus in-suite mini bar is replenished daily as well. It's just I think limited Wi-Fi. I think we've peaked, haven't we? But the guest <laughs> ratio as well. Oh, what's that? What is it's it? It's 1 to 1.5. I mean, crew to it's, guest. It's not something that most of us can afford to do every few months, but this might be a once in a lifetime yeah. experience for you. You know, maybe it's a special birthday, special anniversary. <sighs> anyway, Penta Suite, honestly, they do look amazing. Let's fly you, first of all, business class, of course, and we're going to fly you from London to Nice. Again, well, I, I say from London, you've got a choice of Manchester, Edinburgh and Glasgow. Yeah, you're flying into Nice, which is actually a bit, have you flown into Nice before? Yeah, Beautiful really nice. flight in there. And then you're transferring it into Monte Carlo where she'll actually be docked. Um, so you'll be going down into the harbour and uh, stepping on board. And your first port of call is Florence and Pisa, the port of Livorno. Um, now, Livorno itself, if, if you want to go and see the Leaning Tower of Pisa, if you haven't been before, then you can go and do that. If you want to go to the Ponte Vecchio Bridge and see David, for those, I think those of you that are watching tonight, you've done this before, but not in this sort of style and luxury. Again, a lot of the excursions, I'll talk about it a little bit more in Rome, it's just that extra level of what I call executive tour, yeah, executive yeah. travel. Um, uh, and to give you an idea, in Livorno you can do wine and cookery classes as well as the usual tours. So, you know, lots to, to see and do. Um, into Civitavecchia, which is your next port, which is the port for Rome. Now, Rome, the, one of the lovely things I, I love was an exclusive private train to Rome. <laughs> Are you kidding me? I kid you not. An exclusive Seriously, private I didn't train. I know that. You can do, you can do a, a bus tour into Rome as well, but I, I'm going for exclusive private train. Yeah, if you've ever wanted to, you know, oh. it just goes to a different level. When you get into into uh, Rome, you can do the Vatican City, the Trevi Fountain, Spanish Steps, the Colosseum, all of that as well. And again, there's, there's wine tasting that's available, cookery classes. It's just stunning. Into Naples, the next port of call. I mean, what do you, you want can to do? See, you can see why we are so excited about this one. Go to Pompeii. Go, go to Capri. I think I'll go but to again, Capri. But again, a choice of 35 excursions yeah, included. And they're, but they're all included. If you go onto their yeah. website and you can see the, the ones... Uh, that you can select. It's absolutely stunning. And the way in which you're transferred, the way in which you go to these locations, and you know, you'll, you'll go to a local rustic farm and you'll have, a, you know, you can just imagine the locations to die for. You have to pinch yourself thinking, I can't believe I'm here. Anyway, from Naples, you have a relaxing day at sea to enjoy the facilities on board. And again, the facilities, incredibly well stocked library. Um, you can just imagine the deck areas and the deck space. There's only 700 passengers. Some so, space. Yeah, it's a, no queues, no, no lines. It's just, and the people that you'll meet will be like-minded. They may be celebrating as well. And the oh, fact that you sorry. have a penthouse. I think even on board a ship like, um, uh, like a Regent ship, if you're in a penthouse, all of a sudden you have a lot more friends. That looks, sorry, it's spectacular, isn't it? Absolutely beautiful. Um, in, in, in I'd have to force myself to get off the ship, <laughs> but I would because the uh, the tours are included. And uh, Marseille is next, isn't it? Yeah, and and again, the tours that are available, you can you can choose. I mean, Marseille is a, a great town, but you've, it's the gateway to Provence. You can go to Le Castellet, which is a beautiful hilltop region, some lovely uh, bays and veranders. Of course, this is the location for the Count of Monte Cristo and um, the the castle that he was held at. Uh, but yeah, there's um, there's one here that I love the sound of tour-wise, a Chateau Neuf de Pop tour in Avignon. So go and taste one of the best French wines in one of the best locations. I'm there. Um, finally, finishing up in in Parma, and again, you know the experience. If you if you go ashore and experience the the you know executive I'm saying that gives you some sort of an artisan pearl tour so there's there's um, a, a beautiful jewelers where they make bespoke pieces of jewelry using pearls and you get chance to go and see it um, I know we are we are nearly out of time mm, it's um, such a shame give us a call tonight let's remind you what's included well, it's everything isn't it let's be honest um, so ultra luxury we've never had anything like this actually before free Wi-Fi up to 35 free short excursion lovely choice uh, business class flights 
London, Manchester, Edinburgh and Glasgow. No extra supplement for any of those. Um, we also give, you've got about this, the free one night pre-cruise luxury hotel stay in uh, Monte Carlo. Prepaid gratuities, 24 hour room service, no charge for speciality restaurants. And if that wasn't enough, if you book right now, you will get a free Amazon Echo and a welcome bottle of champagne in your suite. Um, mm, I'd have that while I'm having a bath. I would. I'd no, actually, no, there's, there's a bath. I was going to say a lot of the penthouse. A marble, have... marble I mean. bathroom and tub. I, <laughs> if you're looking for something extra special, book that tonight. Yeah. Anyway, we'd we better quickly recap all the amazing cruises that we have. We started off with an incredible offer with Celebrity. Uh, the Seven Night Norwegian Fields. Do not book the inside. Um, I'll tell you why. Because if you upgrade to Ocean View, you'll get unlimited drinks. You'll get Wi-Fi. You'll get $200 onboard spend per stateroom. You'll get free parking or half-price grants. And you'll also get a balcony if you book an Ocean View. And a deposit from only a pound. That is an amazing deal. And I cannot recommend Celebrity and the Fjords enough on that one. Then we had, uh, of course, Celestial, didn't we? Yeah, if you want to do the Greek islands, then do it with the Greek specialists. And they're so specialists, they've got a relationship with local operators so they can stay in port in Santorini overnight and stay in port in Mykonos. You get, uh, it's all inclusive. You get three free tours included as well in Heraklion, Kuzidasi and Santorini. And then we had, oh my word, um, I'm not being funny, we, we could talk about this for hours. Uh, Royal Caribbean, Spectrum of the Seas, but look at this. You've got the China tour. You're going to get to see the Terracotta Warriors, the Great Wall, Tiananmen Square, the Panda Conservation, all of your meals, uh, stays in Singapore, Shanghai, um, Shine, Beijing. I've said it again. Beijing. Why do Beijing. we do that? Why keep saying it's basically it's a month away uh, experiencing some of the things that you'll never do. And then oh, onto yeah. MSC. Your this favorite. was just brilliant. Great itinerary. And if you ever wanted to go to the Monaco Grand Prix, you do get general admission tickets, but there are upgrades available for race day and qualifying. So please make sure you get the details on that. ID number 177403. Uh, then, Saga, remember, only 36 passengers maximum on here. We've got an exclusive one pound per person deposit. Um, you get all of your drinks out, uh, your dinners and lunches, but you've got the bar on board as well. And a great single special starting at 1119. Then finally. Yeah, well, I think we've run out of time. Regent, there's so much to go through. Give us a call, and this is a once in a lifetime penthouse experience. Uh, what a show. Uh, we're open until 10.30, yep. just Justin, and first thing tomorrow morning. Are you with me next week? I think so. <laughs> I think you are too. <laughs> Justin, thank you so much. Pleasure as always. Thank you to all of our regulars, including Judy that messaged me earlier. We'll see you next week with Planet Crew. Hiya. Thanks for watching the video. Now, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe below. Remember to click that bell to get all notifications. And if you're looking for more fantastic travel video content, like this click on the videos to the right hand side. It'll be really informative. Or click on the Planet logo to the left to go to our website for some fantastic deals. Keep cruising.